We have another lengthy beast to review. This time it's Hamari Traore. Just cost me 75k. We're going to play a few games of foot champs. I'll give my final verdict at the end to see if it's worth getting in your team. So quick look at the card. Five foot nine. He's high, high. Right footed. Three star, three star. Skill moves and weak foot. Now it has some nice alternative positions. Obviously CDM, right mid and right wing. Now as you can see, I've got the architect chemistry style on this card because that means he is lengthy. So with this chemistry style on, he can be lengthy. He can also be made explosive as well, which I will go for at the end. Has the average body type as well. So I'm in just to use this card because I always feel like fullbacks are the best central midfield players on the game you think someone like Cancelo Traore for example as well if they've got good passing which Traore has as you can see pace we don't need to worry about he's got good shooting his passing is really good dribbling wise as well really nice as well good, good composure as well which is always one of the most things you definitely need on this game good curve as well you see defensively as well looking good obviously we we'll have to see what it's like in game obviously 80 inception 80 defensive awareness obviously for a fullback that wouldn't be good but I think for a midfielder I feel like we're going to be fine with that and physical with the architect on obviously he's just a beast we don't really need to worry about that now I've got some nice player traits as well long throw in leadership long shot taker so it'll be interesting to see what his outside of the foot shots are like speed dribbler team player so like I said the only problem I think you might have with this guy is trying to link him in obviously the nation isn't easy and obviously Renee team is not that easy to use so we're going to play a few games of foot champs there you go Traore coming across pacey central midfielder nice pass forward as well into Vinicius Turns away from trouble, trial rate. Into Rashford. There's the assist. See how good he is on the ball, the ball control to get out of tight spaces. Good dribbling skills as well. A nice driving forward run. By Traore. Nice bit of skill as well. Decent ball into the box. Traore, nice feet in that middle. Slots it through for Vasquez. Great bit of play from Traore into Vasquez with a finish. East in that middle. Just not got the weak foot to play it across. Still going. Oh, it's almost a great pass across from Trail Ray. See the run forward though. That's what you're going to want from your central midfielders. Another bursting run from Trail Ray. Still going. Holds off James. Oh, pushes him out for a corner again. Great running. Winning back the ball, high up the pitch. A nice little one too, him as well. Traore running through. Oh, I should. I don't know what's happened. I don't know what's happened, but Traore's got himself a goal. Got himself a goal somehow. Great play from Traore. Great boy over the top from Traore. Puts it on a plate for Vinicius. There you go. Gets an assist as well. Again, he's just so quick. Very good card to have at centre mid. Look at the touch. Oh, it's unlucky not to get a goal. Final verdict on Hamari Traore. Really, really enjoyed using this card. Now, he's already got really good pace and he's lengthy. He's got good shooting, good attack position, very good shot power. His long shots are not great, but he does have the long shot taker anyway trait. So, outside of the foot shots, this card is going to be broken. I mean, no matter who you shoot with from outside the box, you, it is nine times out of ten going to go in just because they are absolutely broken, the L2 shots on this game. Passing's really good, as you see. Left foot, right foot, obviously. I know he has freestyle weak foot. Dribbling's really nice in game as well. Defensively, he was really good, made a lot of tackles. I think that's more to do with his pace. But when someone's that quick, you don't really need to worry about the interceptions and defensive awareness. Obviously, he's a lengthy CDM with 90 pace. So, you know, this is a very nice card to get in your team. The only problem I have with this card is trying to get him in on 10 chem. 
that is the only problem you're going to have. Like I said, there's not really that many Rene uh, players that you'd link him in with. Obviously, his nation is not going to be the easiest to link in as well. But if you can get this guy in on max chemistry, or if you're not too bothered about your chemistry, obviously, if you do want to make him lengthy, you're going to have to get him in on max chemistry. What a card, though. What a card. Like I said, really enjoyed using it. Like I said, there wasn't really any faults with it, obviously. Because the passing and physical are maxed out, and he's lengthy, and he's quick. He just hits the meta. That's all I can really say. He just hits the meta. Defensively, like I said, because he's so quick and strong, you know, he just overpowers people and wins the ball back. Other than that, like I said, there's not really too much to say about this card. Obviously, he's got a very good shot power. He's got a long shot taker. Obviously, I'm assuming the, the L2 shots are going to be nerfed at some point because they are just ridiculous. But you've got he can do that. He's got good passing. His dribbling's really good as well. He's nice on the ball. Like I said, I couldn't find any faults with the card. So if I'm going to give the guy a rating out of 10, I'm going to give him a 9. Like I said, 3 star skill moves and weak foot. It's okay. Like I said, you're gonna not every player is going to be 4 star. 4 stars, so that's fine. But I think the major problem is trying to link this guy in on 10 chem. But with that being said, if you pack this guy, you can bring him off the bench. You know, what a card this would be to bring off the bench. Obviously, you've packed him untradeable. But like I said, this card is a very, very nice card to have in your team. You know, probably like similar to N'Golo Kante, obviously. But the problem is, is like I said, it's trying to get him in on max chemistry. You need the max chemistry as well to make this guy lengthy. I would try and keep this architect on him to make him lengthy because he's already fast in game. And then obviously with him being lengthy, just makes him so overpowering, so meta. So, like I said, physical wise as well, as you can see, he's an absolute animal with this architect on his Parsons top tier as well, puts him into the, the high 80s as well. So, like I said, 9 out of 10 for Hamari Traore, just a shame he's not easier to link in. But if you are looking to get Hamari Traore and cards like that in your team, join my Discord link. The link is in the description below. It's free to join, so make sure you go and check that out, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.